All right, welcome to another H Civil War Zoom interview. We are joined today by Ann Tucker, who is a proud graduate of the University of South Carolina and is working at the University of North Georgia since 2000 and what is it, 14, 15? 14, yeah. 14. Oh, and it was we 2000 are... and 16. <laughs> Well, she is working on the Gainesville campus, so she doesn't get the beauties of the Dahlonega area, unfortunately, on a regular basis. Well, we have a nice campus in Gainesville, too. That is true. And we are going to talk today about newest Born of Nations, a new book that just came out or is coming out at the time of recording, will be out by the time it goes public with yes. the University of, Univer of Virginia Press. So to start then, Anne, tell us, I, I remember we met in 2000 and I want to say it was 14 at the University of Pennsylvania and you were talking about Garibaldi. So I suppose that was sort of the start of your newest Born of Nations projects. Yeah. So this is a project that really I've been working on for a long time. So really, I've been very consistent with my research all the way back to when I knew I wanted to go to grad school. I knew I wanted to work on something that would deal with the South and with Italy. So I studied abroad in Italy in college and fell in love with it. But as a native Southerner, I was also interested in you know, issues of Southern identity and why they're so strong. And so when I started looking into possible connections between the South and Italy, of course, they both have civil wars or nationalist movements right in the middle of the 19th century. They both have divisions between the North and the South. And so that was kind of my starting place. And as I started doing more research, I realized that it wasn't just coincidental connections, white Southerners were actively drawing on what they claimed was a connection with Italy to try and shape their sense of Southern identity. So that was really the origins of this project, then trying to figure out how Southerners' thoughts on Italy shaped their ultimate Southern identity. 